crystal artwork, golden walls, and a three-story Venetian glass sculpture. Just a few of the design elements used to lure in customers to London's brand new flagship Chanel store. It's very much a marketing approach to architecture that I do. You walk into the Chanel, you know you're in Chanel, you don't even need a sign. Queensbred leather-clad Peter Marino is luxury retailer's architect of choice. His award-winning firm designs more than 80 projects globally each year, and half of them are high-end stores for brands like Chanel, Dior, and Louis Vuitton. Before designing a space, I check in on the advertising because there's so much messages thought about there, and I really look at the product, and I design in a room surrounded by product. He is not just an architect. He is a sensualist. Peter has a remarkable command to create sumptuous environments that sell luxury goods. Those sumptuous environments don't come cheap. The vast majority of Peter Marino's projects have budgets of $10 million or more. This store alone has over 25 site-specific commissioned works of art. That's straight. And Marino has some tricks up his sleeve to keep customers shopping. You really need to have natural light as much as possible, easy circulation, easy flow, never dead ends. Open floor plans, dramatic lighting, and hidden cash registers in every room, Marino moves customers through a sea of silk and cashmere straight to the checkout. We know generally the longer we hold a customer in a store, the more likely we are to get money out of their pockets. You have to admit, this doesn't feel too much like a store. And it's part of the success of what I do, that when customers come in, they're very comfortable and they go, oh, you know, like, I, I can like, spit home like gorgeous. I wish my home looked like this. 